Hi guys, Mr. Ruff Waffles here. Today we're going to be taking a look at five pieces of evidence supporting the idea that DLC 4 might be set in Egypt. Even if the map takes place elsewhere, there's still a very good chance that some of the ideas and themes that we discussed today will end up popping up in either DLC 3 or some aspects of DLC 4, so I would definitely keep an eye out for them in the weeks and months to come. If you guys enjoy this video and we can hit, let's say, 9,350 likes, 935, <laughs> then I'll get working on a follow-up video ASAP with even more evidence. Let's get started. Number five on our list is nice and simple. Treyarch so far have released around 20 zombies maps, and if we rewind a bit to the 10th map, that's Moon, we get our first look at one of the most important objects or things in the entire zombies storyline, the MPD. As many of you know, MPD stands for Moon Pyramid Device, the key word there being pyramid. Then, in Der Eisendacher, we see another pyramid in the Undercroft, and we also see the return of the MPD as a key step in that map's easter egg. Why is this relevant? Well, obviously, Egypt is renowned for its pyramids, which were built several thousand years ago as tombs for Egyptian pharaohs and their queens. They are pretty epic structures, and as humans of the 20th and 21st centuries, we still have an awful lot to learn about them. Evidently, this has influenced Treyarch, and so when they were designing the one and only gateway to true ethereal power, they decided to make it in the shape of a pyramid. In fact, going further still, in Darshur, an ancient Egyptian cemetery, there were originally 11 pyramids, and today only five of them are still standing. One of those five is called, ominously, the Black Pyramid. Sounds awfully similar to the MPD, right? It's like this big obsidian pyramid, except it's on the moon. So a slight difference there, but still a similarity regardless. Maybe Treyarch are going to continue this pyramid obsession in DLC 4. I think it's definitely possible. Number four on our list is less to do with the story and more to do with Treyarch themselves. A whole bunch of the Black Ops 3 campaign revolved around events taking place in Egypt. In fact, if we go back to the original Black Ops 3 campaign trailer, we see plenty of the Cairo mission being showed off. It's key to that storyline. The fact that they've already built levels and levels of assets for a mission in Egypt means they'd have much less work to do if they wanted to make a zombies map with an Egyptian setting. We know that Call of Duty love to reuse campaign and multiplayer material in zombies projects, examples of which are Ascension, Dariz, The Giant, Verrucht, Nuketown, and plenty more. Maybe we'll see that happen again here and they'll revive some of that Egyptian influence and Egyptian research that they no doubt did in crafting that campaign mission and those events of the campaign, and bring that into DLC 4. Number three on our list is the most recent hint to date. It's the wall carvings in Zetsubo Noshima's Skull Room. At first, it's easy to miss the carvings in there, but once they've been revealed, they give us a really interesting insight into the way Treyarch have started working with old Egyptian art styles. All it takes is a simple Google search to find hundreds of pictures from within Egyptian pyramids, tombs, and temples, all with extremely similar styles to the art that we see in Zet. The carvings are even adorned with cuneiform writing which once again ties right in with what we expect to see in that kind of artistry and that kind of image. Does this Egyptian thematic link to the Keepers and the skull of Nan Sapwa mean we might see more of this in upcoming DLC? Maybe. Now for number two. This one is one of my favourite sneaky Egypt hints that Treyarch have given to us so far. Let's wind the clock back to Origins, the final zombies map in Black Ops 2. Treyarch planned out the entire Black Ops 3 storyline just before Origins was made, and as such, it's full of teasers towards storyline elements we won't see any further mention of until Black Ops 3's final map or beyond. In the map, there are four elemental staves, which are replicas of the legendary Staves of the Ancients that Origins Maxis had been researching. 
each staff, when upgraded, has a unique name. You've got Kimat's Bite, a reference to the Thunder Dog belonging to the God of Thunder. Then there's Kagutsuchi's Blood, a reference to the elemental spirit of fire in Japanese mythology. Third, we have Ul's Arrow, a reference to the important but definitely mysterious archer, hunter, and skier in Norse mythology. And finally, there's Boreas's Fury, a reference to the Greek god of the cold north wind. Clearly, the drastically varying mythologies that these staves were inspired by reach across completely differing cultures and continents. However, there's one constant across all of them that is super duper relevant to this video, and that's the back of each staff that allows you to easily revive teammates. Its name is Sekhmet's Vigor. Sekhmet was an Egyptian warrior goddess of healing, so it makes sense that her name adorns the end of the staves that's used to revive teammates in-game. The fact that this characteristic is carried across all four staves, in my opinion, means that the Egyptian mythology here is being elevated to a more universal and important place. Perhaps if the ancients that we've been hearing about so many times were directly influenced by Egyptian mythology as we're seeing in this particular case, then so too will DLC 4 be. And finally, numero uno, one of the most overt and obvious references to Egypt that we've had so far in Call of Duty Zombies, and it is, drumroll please, the Buried intro cutscene. By the time Buried comes along, the Transit crew have been working tirelessly under either Rectophon or Maxis for a while. In order to reach their journey's end, they have to travel for thousands of miles across the world, which is what we see happening in the cutscene. It's no coincidence that Treyarch decided to highlight the pyramids in the cutscene itself. They could easily have included so many other structures or landmarks in that video, but they specifically chose to focus on Egyptian pyramids, which in my mind has to mean they have some significance in the story that we are yet to explore fully. After all, Buried is the focal point of the Black Ops 2 Transit crew's story. They finally reach their destination, thinking they'll be able to mend the rift and sort everything out, but the events that actually transpire end up being extremely unexpected. So there's the fact that pyramids have appeared in one of the most important maps in the Transit Cruise story arc. Does this mean that pyramids do have some special significance, and does it also mean that in the same way that pyramids appeared in the final map of the Transit Crew arc, perhaps we will also see pyramids appear in the final map of the Origins Crew arc in DLC 4 of Black Ops 3? Those are my five pieces of evidence supporting the idea that Egypt is definitely something that Treyarch are drawing a lot of inspiration from, and there's a very good chance that they'll be drawing even more inspiration from it in the future and bringing us to Egypt in DLC 4. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you smash the like button on this, guys, I'll do another list of five more reasons which go even more in-depth as to why we might be seeing Egypt in the future, and there's some super cool stuff in there, I assure you, so smash the like button. Also, leave a comment with any other topics you'd like me to make a video like this on. So it could be talking about DLC 3, or maybe talking about the Keepers, or something else entirely. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to be notified of that video when I upload it, and fingers crossed, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.